Each year, $74 billion worldwide of it is sold. In the U.S. alone, that equates to 3.6 billion pounds per year, with the average American consuming 13 pounds per year. Chocolate has been named a favorite flavor by 52% yes. of the world population. Through careful research in numerous books and articles, I have gathered interesting information about chocolate that you may want to hear. I will provide information about chocolate by discussing its history, how chocolate was made, and the surprising <coughs> health benefits. At the end of my speech, I will also pass out some chocolate samples. Chocolate comes from the cacao tree, or the Theobrom cacao. It is found in tropical regions, primarily in the Amazon and Mexico. According to Carol Off, it grows in a band around the world hugging the equator and thriving only where there are perfect temperatures and plentiful moisture. Cacao pods have a thick pod wall lining the seeds, which are encased in a thick, slippery pulp. According to Ari Saperino from NPR, the pods stick out of the tree trunk like something in a doctor's use illustration. Some of the first to cultivate cacao were the Amazonian Indians, Aztecs, and Banyans. In the Amazon, it was not used for the cacao beans, but for the fruit pulp surrounding the beans. This may have been from observing animals eat the pulp. The first time the beans were roasted was done by the Aztecs and Mayans to make a beverage. The Aztecs mixed the ground bean paste with spices and corn. To them, the chocolate beverage was the drink of the gods. It wasn't until 1848 that the first eating chocolate was made. This was done by adding cocoa butter and sugar to the ground paste of cacao beans. This was accomplished from the work of Conrad Van Houten, who discovered how to press the cocoa butter out of the beans, leaving the nibs, which can be ground into cocoa butter. The first milk chocolate was made in Switzerland by mixing milk solids with cocoa sugar by Daniel Peters. The Swiss held a monopoly on making milk chocolate until the 1900s. Today, they are the world leaders in chocolate, even keeping chocolate at the bank. According to the authors of the Book of Chocolate, the government advises to keep one year's worth of raw material in stock at all times. Now that we have a brief history of chocolate, let us move on to how it goes from cacao bean to chocolate tree. Chocolate is made by harvesting and by a harvesting and drying process that occurs at the cacao orchard. A machete is used to cut the to make sure pods from the tree. Workers collect the pods from their piles and are cracked open to remove the seeds. The fermentation process occurs next. The pulp around the seeds liquefies and the chocolate flavor of the beans is enhanced. The beans are dried in the sun next before they are shipped off to the processing plants. At the plant, the cacao beans are roasted at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. A crucial part after this roasting is cracking the shells. To accomplish this, the shells are blown away in a process called winnowing. The most important part of the cacao bean remains, the nib. This is what is used to create chocolate products. Chocolate liquor is produced from grinding the nibs of the cacao bean. Despite the name, this chocolate liquor does not contain any alcohol, but it is extremely bitter. The chocolate liquor that goes, then goes through the hydraulic process that extracts the cocoa butter, leaving the cocoa powder. It is at this point that the product can be called cacao, cocoa. The flavors are then blended into the paste. Sugar is mixed in, as well as more unusual ingredients, such as vanilla, teas, spices, and tropical fruits. It goes through a conching and refining process. Refining decreases the particle size. Conching needs some of the cocoa butter into the chocolate particles. This process also aerates the chocolate. The tempering process is used to give the chocolate a glossy sheen. And after this, the chocolate is ready to be molded into the desired <coughs> shape. Now that we know the process of making chocolate, let's look at the health benefits we get from eating it. Although chocolate has fat in it from the cocoa butter, it also has surprising health benefits. In addition to being a healthy fat, chocolate is rich in copper, iron, zinc, potassium, and phosphorus. According to Shara Aaron, chocolate actually accounts for 9.4% of the daily copper intake. Chocolate is full of antioxidants, which helps damage cancerous cells. They also improve cell functioning, allowing for better cognition, which studies are using to see if eating chocolate can actually help to improve memory. Flavonoids have health benefits for blood flow. They keep platelets from sticking to each other and starting blood clots. In conclusion, today I have given you more detailed information about chocolate. I have accomplished this by discussing its history, how it is made, the 
and health benefits. From the words of Remus Lupin in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, speaking about our favorite comfort food, eat, you'll feel better. Where did the chocolate go? Okay. Are there any questions? Yeah. yeah. Can I get some regular chocolate, like normal chocolate, not this dark stuff? I don't have any. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.